the future as unlikely as it may seem you people become a team i am uh i'm a giant nerd when it comes to the time masters Great. so uh here's here's my thing um we know we know or clemmer has said we won't see booster your dad yeah uh, anytime real soon um are there any other time masters we'll actually be interacting with i don't want to say <laughs> They play a big role, obviously in the kind of concept of the show, and they play a big role um, overall. Um, so the, they're a kind of, they're definitely a big presence on the show. And I've only seen up to episode, episode four, script-wise, so I'm not quite sure if any of them are going to pop up. Um, thank you very much. Uh, so we're going to have to kind of wait and, wait and see. I wish I could tell you... <laughs> more than that but what I know is very exciting so yeah. uh, Rip is a character who's been depicted a lot of different ways over the years yeah. um, what's kind of your take because it, it from the character description it almost sounds a little bit more booster like than we've seen yeah. in a long time. yeah I think um, having read a lot of the comics what's quite nice is that I couldn't quite get a grip on who he was from reading them because personality wise mm -hmm. And I think that's kind of quite interesting, and I've... I like the idea that he, he's very private, and, you know, he's, he, he has that kind of adventurous side, but, but he doesn't like to reveal too much of himself. Um, but he's got some, some dark stuff that's happened to him in the past or in the future uh, that, he's, that he's dealing with. And I feel what they've done so well writing-wise and kind of what they've kind of asked me to do with it is so exciting and, and takes it to a different place that it hasn't been to in the comic books yet and I think that's uh, it's kind of such an honour to, to be able to do that but I think the, the fans of the comic books would be very uh, pleased with the way that the character develops. Now throughout like the 80s and the Superman books and then more recently in Booster Gold Rip yep. was a character who people didn't always know if they could trust him. Uh, is that going to be an issue, especially with people like The Flash, who has already been really screwed by a leader? Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, he's got his own agenda. Um, and whether that fits into everyone else's is yet to be, you know, is yet to be seen. I think there are some serious trust issues because he doesn't like to give very much away and he's definitely trying to achieve what he wants to achieve. So, yeah. He kind of keeps people on a need-to-know basis um, and doesn't always necessarily work out well. One last thing real quick, because I know you got to run. Um, Hawk Girl is an interesting character for this show to me because uh, the reincarnation element yeah. means, presumably, you've probably met more than one of her. Yeah. Is that a relationship that's, uh, that's going to be fun to explore this season? I hope so, yeah. I'm fascinated by that as well. So I think... Uh, it's so great to be able to play with time travel and these characters specifically. Uh, I don't want to give away too much, but yeah, it's uh, it's it's going to be interesting seeing seeing where these characters are throughout different points in history. Yeah. All right, thanks so much. Nice I appreciate it. I'm really looking forward to it.